Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be talking about how to create DLLs in CLang. Okay, so first off, uh, this is the prerequisite. You need to go to this website, uh, llvm.org, download um, .html and you want to search for uh, LLVM 16.0.0 uh, Win64 ex executable or Win32 executable depending on the operating system that you have. Uh, you need to install this uh, first and make sure to add uh, the path to CLang++ uh, the executable will be about uh, 30, I'm sorry, 300 megabyte. Okay, so once that's completed, then um, you can actually call the CLang++ uh, compiler. Okay, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, please open up Visual Studio Code and type the following. So, um, the first thing you want to do is define the sh share lib header um, just like so. Uh, this ensures that the content only gets included once um, and you need the following uh, header here. Uh, this is for uh, string manipulation, uh, standard input, uh, input output, arrays and uh, functions that can be used in Windows. Okay, and next I, I declare using namespace standard, and next I declare uh, extern C. So any of the uh, prototypes uh, after this will be uh, part of this. Uh, be declared under extern C. Okay, and uh, this is my uh, bill variable. Uh, which is allow me to declare this as an import or export okay so you can see that for CLang uh, you need to type uh, share lib first before the actual prototype even though uh, Visual Studio Code uh, is giving me an error it's okay so you want to type in uh, share lib then the um, return type and uh, the following function as you can see here okay so I have one for adding uh, one for multiplying uh, one to do string copy uh, one to do uh, pipe command and one for to say something and the, the last one is for string cat okay so concatenating of uh, strings and then I close off the curly bracket and then this is my end if for uh, end of the DOL okay okay so let's go to our share lib.cpp so this is the header file this is the uh, uh, cpp file that uses the uh, header so let's click into it so the first thing I do is include uh, shared lib.h which contains all the prototypes for all the function implemented here. So as you can see uh, this is basically just uh, adding two numbers and here is multiplying uh, two numbers. Uh, here is the pipe command so uh, I, I can t uh, enter dir and in return I should get the output of DIR back so you want to type exactly like this um, so uh, you can see here I declare a string return uh, this is the actual buffer which is basically uh, 80 characters 
so as you can see that uh, I'm not using the uh, POSIX P open but this is the, with the underscore p open. Uh, this can be compiled under Windows, right? And um, and as soon as you get all the data back, you can do a uh, pipe close. And as you can see here, this is also using uh, underscore, and not exactly the uh, post uh, post close uh, p close function. Okay. And um, the next function I have is say something. So if I type, um, you know, hello world, I should get hello world back. Here's the string copy function. So you can see that uh, the uh, if I copy, uh, let's say hello world to destination, um, I should get a uh, um, hello world back and it's assigned to the uh, uh, pointer destination here and this is not a C uh, string copy function this is actually a standard string copy function that I'm using here okay and for string cat uh, I'm concatenating two strings uh, source and target and this becomes the new string okay so that's all the implementations uh, for uh, this whole dot CP cpp file. Okay, so next, uh, let's create the main dot cpp, uh, but I named this as te test dot cpp. So as you can see here, I'm including shared uh, underscore lib dot h and um, you know, I declare using namespace standard, uh, and in my main, um, I would be calling uh, say something. So as you can see, I'm sending a hello world, and I should expect hello world back uh, from uh, say something. And here's my pipe command. So as you can see, I type in dir uh, slash w. Uh, I should get the output from dar slash w okay and um, the next part will be uh, calling the string copy function as you can see here so I'm copying hello world to my uh, target variable and in return I should get target back uh, the data for target and here I'm concatenating uh, I am here to hello world so my target should read hello world comma I am here and here is a function that I call to get the sum of two numbers 20 and 25 so the sum should be 20 plus 25 or 45 in this case and here I'm multiplying 2.5 times 4.5 so I should get um, you know uh, the product back as you can see here and uh, that's all for the uh, test.cpp file. Okay, so let's go into our build.batch file, which builds the uh, DOL and executable. So you can see the first line here. I type in clang plus plus dash d build underscore my underscore DOL. Okay, so this you remember this is declared in our share lib dot h uh, so it's the import or export um, of the DOL so you need to pass this in and you want to pass another uh, argument here dash share the uh, share lib dot cpp dash o um, the output of the share lib uh, DOL so and this will create uh, our shared lib dot DOL file okay so to use the uh, this shared lib DOL we wanna type clang plus plus test dot cpp dash o test dot exe and then link 
uh, with share underscore lib that we produce okay and then the third line here this is uh, using G++ or GCC uh, and you can see that it's a little bit different but not that much so I, I type here G++ test.cpp dash l the link uh, with the shared lib dot uh, dll then uh, it will output test to dot exe so you're gonna see uh, two executable will be produced one is the test dot exe and the second one will be test to dot exe compiled by two different uh, compilers okay so I'll share with you that next okay so let's open a terminal so uh, using this visual studio code um, click on new terminal and you can see here that uh, you know I, I have a terminal open so you can type uh, clear or CLS so you can type CLang plus uh, plus and type the version number and as you can see here, I install CLang version 16.0.0, and uh, this is under Windows. And you can see the path, the install path is under C colon LLVM uh, underscore bin. And then I can type in G G++ dash version. And you can see that I'm using TDM 64-bit uh, 10.0. Uh, dot three dot oh, um, copyright 2020 by the free software foundation so there are two compilers here install so um, what I like to do is do a clear or CLS and you remember there's a batch file that we created so let's um, type build dot BAT okay and you can see that uh, a couple uh, executable uh, has been produced. So there's test.exe and then test2.exe. And there's also a DOL uh, and a .lib and a .exp file, um, which is produced by the compiler. So let's do a clear and type dir.executable. Uh, and uh, type in test.exe and you can see here's the uh, result from uh, the the first compilation so this is using clang++ and you can type test2.exe and this is the result from the second compilation which is using uh, gcc or g++ so uh, and the output should be pretty much identical. The only difference is that we're using, um, you know, two different compilers to compile uh, our code, but you know, uh, no difference at all in terms of the output. Okay, so uh, this is all the time I have for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, if you like this kind of tutorial, please. Always subscribe to my channel and uh, you get uh, a notification when I have a new video uh, that will come out. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.